What's going on, everybody? Welcome to and welcome back to another video. I am celebrity and fashion photographer Chris Kavanaugh, and in today's video, we're going to be going over a drag retouching tutorial. So, right now, let's get right into the video. All right, so what we're going to start off with in this video right now is going into retouching the skin. We want to clean up the skin blemishes that are, you know, around and that we see that are noticeable. And then after that, we're going to go into retouching the lace that is around the face as well. And then move on from that, going on into the hair, as you can see, and getting all the strays and flyaways and, you know, going as usual. So what we're going to do is go into Photoshop, into the Spot Tool Heel Brush right here. And we're going to just start selecting little imperfections along the skin, along the face that are absolutely prominent and, you know, noticeable. Make sure when you're retouching as well, you definitely want to go into um, zooming into the skin and then also zooming out to see the progress. And then also using your history tool over here to, uh, you know, select before and after to see, you know, the progress you're making as you're actually retouching. Right, so we want to go in, in and touch up this hair, the straight hair that's kind of you know sticking out as well. Uh, most of this, you know, the skin texture and imperfections right here can always be used uh, and removed using the spot heel tool brush, or we can go in at a low opacity and use the clone stamp tool brush. So, as you can see, I start brushing around the lips cleaning that up, making it one uniform skin texture. If any rough skin texture is right here, you know, you can just go right past it and you can always change your opacity as well, depending on the level of, you know, prominence within the skin texture. All right. So I don't want to stay too long on that because that is going to mostly be uh, kind of fixed up and touched up when I get into Retouching Academy. But anything that is kind of, you know, like I said, sticking out, you definitely want to remove when you're editing. And like I also said, feel free to zoom in and out and just look at your progress of before and after and see how you're making way. So what we're going to go into next is removing some of these stray hairs that are along the eye line uh, deselect well what we need to do first is remove the patch and then go into removing some of these stray hairs that are extremely noticeable so we're going to go right back into it like we were doing with the skin retouching as well and use the spot heel tool brush to just brush along these stray hairs And if I go quiet for a few seconds, that's because I'm getting into the gig, getting these little straight heads out of the way, so we can keep proceeding through it. All right. Sometimes when you're dealing with different, uh, you know, textures of hair, it can be a little bit difficult to, you know, get in there and just really get it. But the thing is, you want to not so, I mean, trying to get every single thing and every single stray hair is just unrealistic. But you definitely want to make sure you're taking your time to get the things that pop out tremendously. And that can just be corrected. A little goes a long way. And make sure when you're doing stuff like this, uh, with these like retouching and you know, retouching stray hairs, make sure you move that brush tool down a little bit because if it's too big, it's going to select the area that's around it too much, and then it's not going to be a nice looking finished product. But just take your time on it, and as you take your time on it, the progress a little uh, progress you get little by little will be more noticeable. Go. Come on. Uh, 
I'll go back and get that with the clone stamp. All right, then we're going to go into this inner little uh, curl pattern right here as well. A lot of photographers will like to especially, um, you know, start working from top to bottom, like starting at the hair and going all the way down. But I feel wherever it's, you know, you feel that is a pivotal point. And as you're zooming out in and out and you see things that can be changed, go out and get it. But to each his own. I like to work, work my way from the face first and then start moving up and then I move back down. Just start dabbing it a little bit so it can start getting these straight hairs and selecting that texture that's around. And like I said, a lot of this is going to be um, fixed in Retouching Academy. So I don't want to spend too much time on the little tedious details, but at the end of the day, you still want to make sure you're paying attention to the detail. All right. So right now, I am going to go and select using the patch tool as you can see this little strand of lace that's peeling up start bringing that in and then it's multiple ways you can go about correcting lace you can do what I'm doing right quick and this is just to get it you know start looking more blended and then after I get it blending a little bit more what I'm going to do is go in with the um, the clone stamp tool and start blending these hairs into the skin so that it looks like it's coming out of Mercy's natural born head and if you don't know already this absolutely amazing queen right here is Miss Mercy Madison from the Charleston South Carolina area you can find her at Dudley's on Ann Street on Tuesdays and throughout the week and some other nightclubs around Charleston as well to bully sometimes but this is Mercy Madison alright so we're gonna get into it even more and just start getting that detail of the lace cleaning it up a little bit These little strays. All right, so I'm going to work my way to the other side and just get this little bit of lace over here. Now I'm going to go back to the side that I was absolutely well, actually, at just now and start cleaning up with. The clone stamp tool now I'm going to go down select a lower brush size and then also I might boost up the opacity a little bit maybe 36 see how that goes first and if I don't like it we can always just you know and then after I do that I'm going to go in with the clone stamp tool and start lightly brushing along that hairline so when we zoom out you'll see more of the detail of it looking just like it came from out of the scalp right there we go blend that in a little light opacity and like I said don't worry too much about trying to get every bit of the detail of the lace because a lot of it is going to be fixed in retouching academy to be more blended but right now we just want to get see I'll give a quick before and a quick after boom all right so we're going to go back to and we're going to come back to this space so remember that so right now I'm going to go in and raise my opacity again and I'm going to start retouching these flyaways 
always want to get that detail here while we're at it right now clean that thumbprint up where the makeup was just showing boom but in order to I know some people have a hard time in, uh, in wondering how you actually deal with stray hairs and what you do to get rid of these stray hairs is go back into the opac uh, the clone stamp tool stamp you know what I'm saying uh, and you know you can select the opacity up here based on the the hair and how much is being shown how much you want to remove depending on the wig as well or depending on the hair texture you can use the uh, pen tool right here to select around but we're not going to be using that for this particular image because it doesn't require that we want to go for clean but at the same time natural and a little messy but we just want to get those hairs that are sticking extremely out and extremely prominent down a little bit all about blending so here I'll show a quick boom and then we're back to it alright so I'm going to level up a little bit more start getting these tall stray hairs at the top that's poking out boom also if you're he uh, hearing clicking a lot that's because I am a mouse type of retoucher <laughs> in the comments tell me what you guys like to use more so are you a Wacom pen tablet retoucher or do you like using a mouse like me or an Apple keypad what's your method and then also while you're there in the comments section make sure if you're finding this video entertaining and helpful please 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 feel free to smack that like button and also subscribe button to become a part of the photo family turn on those post notifications so you know when I put out different videos because I'm going to be doing more series of drag re uh, drag retouching as time progresses I have a lot of amazing photos and a lot of shoots that are coming up and that have been shot so make sure you stay tuned for that as well alright so we're gonna zoom out boom there we go I'm gonna do a quick before boom there we go and a quick after alright so now that we have got everything around this area situated we still have some things we can do let's see boom just a little bit let's tease it up a little bit all right straight here all right so what we're going to do is go down like I said I like to work in the middle up and then go down but it all depends on I mean you anybody can just you know go from their own workflow setting you can always start from the top and work your way down or start from the bottom work your way up whatever you see fit but I'm gonna go over to the arm and start removing these little skin blemishes go down a little bit more Let's see alright cool beans My word. And then don't worry about too much of this because this is going to be cropped out. But right now we just want to go into cleaning up what's noticeable. Let's see if we can go in here. I'll pop these out as well. We'll go back to cleaning that up as we go, but right now I just want to get these things that are very, very noticeable. All right, so let's zoom out again, see a quick before and a quick after, and now we're going to go more into cleaning the skin up before we go into Retouching Academy. So I'm going to go in and want to remove these little bag lines. So what you do for that is go select a Lighten Clone Stamp tool select around the eye and then depending on like I said whatever opacity you want 
and it changes as you may change in like skin texture and where the light is hitting. I'm going to go and clean that up. Let's blend it in a little bit more. There we go. Boom. Okay. Zoom in and up to show what was done. There we go. And there we go. Alrighty, so now what I'm going to do is go into Retouching Academy. I'm going to select 16-bit in the frequency separation layer. Probably will go up to 7.6 pixels. Go over to the uh, high frequency texture. Deselect it. Go back to the Mix Brush tool. I'm going to lower my brush and then start brushing around where that lace front was to make it more uniform in texture. And as I start brushing around, you'll start seeing the image start to change a little bit in the like blur. All right, there we go. I'm going to get up around these eye bags right here. Well, not bags, but, you know, around the eye socket, eyelid, whatever you want to call it. Start getting around the cheeks and the chin. And what this frequency separation layer does when you're working in Retouching Academy is start pushing and matting down that skin texture. It doesn't remove and diminish the skin. I mean, uh, removing, like, you know, completely remove the skin texture. But it definitely helps in matting it down to look more natural. Oh. Just use it to brush across the skin, get these imperfections out. All right, so I'm gonna zoom out and show a little bit of where we're at in before and after. All right, so I'm still seeing some stuff around the eye. So what we're gonna do is go back into this little layer see. I'll just get that with dodge and burn So I'm about to go in and dodge this layer. So I went into the black and white and turned my reds all the way down. I'm going to go into the dodge and lightly brush along this eyelid. There we go. Did too much. Go back. Boom, boom. Okay, now I'm going to close this up, go into the digital skin texture, zoom back in, and repeat the same process of what I was doing with the, um, the frequency separation, and lightly just brushing around, cleaning things up, doing a little but not too much. Also, I'm going to zoom back out and brush against these arms. Oops. All 
All righty. Go back in. Add a little contrast. Zoom back into the image. Dodge and burn. Going to the lips. Cleaning up the nose. All right, uh, back out a little bit. exit out of this and what I did just now if you're wondering was erase the history of what I just did it was a bit too prominent so what I'm going to do is go right back into the frequency separation and clean that eye up when I did the um, When I went in with the clone stamp tool, I did too much. So it removed a little bit of that texture. And like I said, you always want to diminish, never remove. Patch tool, select some around this area. I truly uh, enjoy working with, you know, a lot of these drag performers here in, here in Charleston, South Carolina, and, you know, elsewhere as well. I think these people who, you know, go out and these individuals who go out and just perform and create and set an atmosphere for a, a show and just you know just give their heart and be able to live a transparent life in female illusion is absolutely amazing so if you go to a drag show make sure you tip the local girls make sure you tip the just anybody who's performing the local kings and queens of drag because these people work their butt off and as you know Mercy Madison here looks absolutely expensive. So cheap drag ain't good, and good drag ain't cheap. So definitely remember that. In the words of Simone and O. Bishop, another local drag queen from Charleston. Alrighty, so now that we got that situated, 
that over a little bit. Boom. It's coming into form. All right. So now that we got that situated, I want to go in here and raise this up a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is go into the eyedropper tool, select the color. And then I am going to brush using a light brush to brush the top of this just to expand the backdrop and the background a little bit more than what it was. And then after I do that, I'm going to go in with the patch tool and just blend it in a little bit more. And then after I do that, I'm going to go in with the mix brush tool. Just mix it on up a little bit, blend it in a little bit. Have everything cohesive. And then also take this little lens dirt right there that I see in the image and clean that up. Go into it with the crop tool. Crop over that glove. Boom, there we go. And then you can always crop as and like adjust accordingly as you're going even more. My word. And my goal for this is to have it looking like a magazine cover. So I'm going to be adding some text within it and then also some color grading. So right now, I'm going to go into color grading the image. So, I also want to go about saving this color grade because if you don't know, on my website I have different Photoshop actions and Lightroom presets able to be purchased. So, being that we're already added a little bit of contrast with that, I'm going to go into creating the action. There we go. Go to the file. Mercy. And then also go into the recording. And this action will now be available on my website, chrisphotostudios.com, link in the bio. And the name of it will be called Mercy Studio. Record. All right. So like I said, I already added a little bit of contrast in that. So I'm not going to play too much into that. So I'm going to go. And go into the color balance. Add a little bit of blue. Add a little bit of purple to match what's going on. And then just for the actual uh, contrast, being that I already add contrast in there, I'm going to just push it up so that it's already done. So whenever you get the actual uh, action, you'll be able to control the contrast. And after you put it into Lightroom, you'll be able, or Photoshop, to be able to control it as well. So I'm going to add a little bit of contrast in there, 20%. There we go. And then I'm going to go into the hue and saturation and drink, bring a little bit of saturation out of it. Now here's a little, let's see, I'm going to play with this a little bit more. Add a little yellow. Mm, should we add a little yellow? Yeah. We'll add a tad bit of yellow. All right. And as you can see, we are coming to an end. So I am going to stop that. Now it's saved and I will be putting it on my website about time you see this video. So let's do a quick before, a quick after. And also what I'm going to do to this image as well is add a little bit of sharpness to it. So we're going to go into the sharpness uh, selection here in Retouching Academy. I'm going to bring it down to about 45%. Let's zoom in to see what it looks like first. And I'll do one of deselecting and then selecting it again. So do a little, but don't do too much. Okay. And then also I'm going to remove this little 
fly away I see over here. There we go. And then to top it off, to add a little bit of drama into it, I'm going to go in with the dodge tool and just add a little bit of flare to the eyes. Add a little flare to the nose. Make it look very wet. Have some detail in there. Brighten up the iris a little bit. Plus the eye. I'm going to zoom out. See what we're looking like. And add a little bit more over here. But not too much that it looks extremely unrealistic. But there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this drag retouching tutorial of Miss Mercy Madison. Like I said, you can find Mercy in Charleston, South Carolina on Tuesdays and throughout the week at Dudley's and also other venues here. And then also, I will leave Mercy's uh, Instagram in the bottom of this video. And then my Instagram as well, the Chris Cavanaugh. Also, feel free to head over to my website to get this Photoshop preset. Uh, that you can use on some of your images in studio to, you know, just give it another flair. And I hope you enjoy this video. Like, subscribe, and comment below, you know, what you thought of it if you have any questions. And I will see you absolutely amazing people in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.